It really is a timeless film. I think this movie is going to resonate really well with uh, a wide variety of audiences. It's amazing. Whose baby is this? Well, well, I guess it's mine. The movie is it's sort of an introspective drama. It's like one of those old refrigerators that kids used to uh, climb into and suffocate. They came to me with this big idea, I'll admit, at first. I was uh, hesitant about doing it, um, especially after everything that uh, has happened in the last couple of months. Uh, I lost my youngest daughter. I knew it was going to be difficult to match the actor with the character because the roles were well defined. But it's kind of tough for me going through my loss, the loss of my daughter. Um, Yeah, this movie, it has a real honesty about it. And the honesty really starts with Jeffrey. Jeffrey, the protagonist, he starts this new life. The world is wide open to him. He just doesn't quite fit. I mean, he's like an earthworm after a thunderstorm. And Russell plays that very authentically. It was a challenging role uh, that, that required constant reshuffling on my part, especially once the character of Ellie is introduced into his life. I really love the role of Ellie. Caitlin was a producer's dream. She actually reminded me a lot of my dead daughter. I really like the fact that she had a quirky, fulfilling story of her own, and that she wasn't just another female foil for the male lead. She's essentially a catalyst for Jeffrey. If it was my vote and my vote only, she wouldn't be in, I mean, what, what, what does she bring to the play that I like? Nothing. She's got intelligence, a reptilian confidence, and a general understanding of who she wants to be. She should be left out and forgotten about, ever, forever. Joby's role in the film, it's kind of an interesting topic. Yeah, I was in a few furniture store commercials before this. I just looked the part, I guess. I think you want to keep your eye on Joby. Yeah, we're like a family, like a whole bunch of husbands and wives all married together. So much goofing on the set. Oh! oh, 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 oh. <laughs> he tripped over the cord. I tried to kind of stay away from the set as much as I could um, because of the death of my daughter. Um, After we had our script and uh, a vision for who was going to play who, we uh, went about to assembling the team. We couldn't just entrust our vision for the film to anyone, so we reached out to our old high school buddy, Nick Helfrick. When they brought me the project, I was very interested in it because it involved nature. One of the things I really enjoyed about this film is it gave me an opportunity to take my 3D puzzles with me everywhere I went. I admire him pushing through tragedy to create beauty in an ugly world. You know, I, I really thought the art looked great, even from behind camera number two and, and camera number three. Um, special effects. I, I was in charge of a special F effect. And I did good job. You really brought the film to a to a whole new place. I I did and I did good job. This basically is what goes into making a movie. It's amazing. I wouldn't have left Minnesota unless it was for a great project. You're gonna you're gonna feel this film's breath right in your mouth. It's amazing. All the cinematic magic in the world but none of it can bring my dead daughter back.